These are five things that you must consider before you start on YouTube. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, the Antigua Mommy, and we are back. I am back with another video. So if it is that you are interested in what I have to say, then you should stay tuned to hear about the gems that I'll be dropping. And before you get any further into the video, just pause. Just take a minute and pause if you love my dress. If you love my dress, please drop a comment below. Put a blue heart below. Put a thumbs up below. Put an emoji below if it is that you're digging my dress. And now, let's get into the video. Just a little heads up. From time to time, you will see that I will be looking down. I have a lot of notes written here. And we are going to tackle them today. I really need to get this information out before I dig into and dive into any more videos. And bring you guys the content that you have been asking for. So, today's video is going to be five, five things you should know before you start a a YouTube channel or five things you should know or consider before continuing your YouTube channel are you interested then stay tuned and I will be dropping gems I will be asking you guys questions so I'm gonna need your interaction down below please take this time to like comment and subscribe to my channel Turn on post notification if it is that you're interested in what it is that we have to say and what we're doing here. Subscribe. I'm going to take five seconds. Give you time to subscribe and turn on that post notification bell. Thank you. And now let's get into the video. Five things you must consider before starting a YouTube channel or five things you need to consider before continuing your YouTube channel and the first thing is YouTube for you is YouTube for you honestly YouTube is for every and anybody but it depends on what it is that you're expecting to get out of YouTube and why you started YouTube you come on here or we come in here and we hear and see other youtubers say that they've made this and this amount of money and all the glitz and glamour about being on youtube and some of us seem to overlook or bypass the fact that youtube is a job or you can have youtube yes you can have YouTube as a hobby. It just depends on what you are expecting to get out of YouTube. So are you ready? Are you ready for the fact that you come on here and somebody don't know you and in the comment section or they share your video and they got nasty things to say. If it is that you're a softie and you know small comments or people's little critiques or their, their small minded opinions are going to break your back sis find something that can suit you because YouTube will not be it you need to consider are you ready is YouTube for me because people are gonna come for you and if it is that you intend to reach somewhere, you're going to have to face the fact that, okay, everybody is not going to like you. People are going to come on here and they're going to dislike your videos. For what reason? We don't know. But you can't let that get to you. You cannot let it get to you. What I do or what I think about when people have their nasty comments, you can delete the comments, you can disable comments on a whole on your video yes people will share you have to consider the fact okay people can use your video or make a still from your video and create a meme different things but do like me or you can do like other youtubers you can channel that energy and put out more content so that it it bothers them or for me personally this is what one thing cardi b says and i might look for the clip or i'ma just tell you 
in order for people to speak bad or have something to say about you or about your video first thing that they have to do is do what they have to watch it and once they're watching we're making profit we're making stride we're making steps towards our goal and the views are what we need we need the views we need the likes we need the comments if it is that the comment is not suitable for you you can delete it and in some cases people say dirty things people say hurtful things and youtube will take it down youtube may disable the comments or you can go and manually disable the comments on your own so just ask yourself that question is youtube for me am i ready <coughs> the next thing you want to ask are you ready to put yourself and your family out there because some people may see you on youtube and it's just like some people they know z or they want to get to know you they will follow you on social media or they will go and look for you on facebook and all of these things they may have nasty things to say and all of that but it still goes back to are you ready to put your family out there if it is that depending on your niche and what you will be talking about if it is that you're going to be putting you know like your personal life It depends on if you're going to be putting your personal life, talking about your family and your friends and your personal issues or whatever. It depends on what it is that your channel and your videos will be about. But if it is that you're just doing a business YouTube or you're doing fun and challenges or whatever, then I don't think that that is a bother or that is going to affect your family in any way. It's just that. You know, from time to time, people might make a meme about you or use you to make some kind of giffy or gif or something. But hey, that helps to make you go viral and stuff like that. Are you ready to put in the time? Because based on how you answer this question, we will know what it is that or you will know what it is that you are doing YouTube for. YouTube, YouTube can be your part-time job. YouTube can be your full-time job or YouTube can be your hobby. What it is that you are doing a YouTube channel for. What it is that you have created your YouTube channel for. And this is something that I had to ask myself again and come up with an answer. And this is why I have now started to up my frequency in which I post my videos. Because I want to move YouTube from being like a hobby to more of a part-time aiming towards full-time job even though full-time will take a level of dedication because then I am an entrepreneur and I have so much going on for me so I'm sticking more to like part-time right now but to get put in your hours to put in your hours and achieve my goal and your goal you gotta put in the time you have to look at it's a job that you get ready for so I figured okay Based on my last video and the comments that people have made, I figured, yeah, I I have people's attention now. Yes, my views are still low, but I have people's attention. People are talking. And nothing does business good or bad more than word of mouth. Uh, we know this in the Caribbean. Word of mouth gets you one long way. Uh, word of mouth can be dictate whether you make it or you fail in most instances but for you too the more people talk more people will come and view your video and see what it is about and they too can gather their own opinion and you know draw their own conclusion but what it is that you are doing what what is YouTube is it your hobby where you're going to post one time a week or once a month or whenever you feel like or is it part time where you're going to commit to two times a week three times a week if it's full time you can probably post every day or every other day it just depends on your hours how how many time are you devoting to your job and are you ready
that is the last question like think about it are you ready just like any other job if it is that you want to be a police officer are you ready for the hours that come with being a police officer the requirements and all it is that you would have to prepare your mind mentally to get your task done as a police officer or the the means and the commitment that come with your job are you ready are you patient with being ready are you patient can you be patient because just like any other job bo just like any other job you start you have a start from the bottom level you can't start unless it's a specific job hiring where you go and you apply to be supervisor but apart from that if you start at the entry level where you're working just your regular nine to five and you're thinking about becoming supervisor or ceo or things like this baby you have to put in the time the time is what it are you ready to wait because other people they're in the company before you other people have been here putting in their hours clocking the overtime and all these things so you know you have to wait you know you have to wait youtube is no different you see people with their twenty thousand and their 230k and their 1 million subscribers and you watch their yes roy you see they watch hours up and you think okay i'm gonna just get in and it's gonna happen like that for me every channel is not the same some people are lucky some people are really fortunate that okay they post one video and it goes viral or because they're socialite or depending on their public figure or how they are in society they post a video and the video skyrocket and it happens just like that it's not the same for everybody it is not the same some people you look on their channel and you see that they're on YouTube for four, five years and they have 800 subscribers. And sometimes it gets discouraging. But if you know your mission, then you stick to what it is that you are on YouTube for. You can look at somebody else's wins and somebody else's progress and judge yourself based on that. It is the same thing with any other business. So think about it like this. You are an entrepreneur. I am an entrepreneur. We both can do the same thing. We both can sell this item. Depends on how you market your item, how you put yourself, you put your, your product and put yourself out, your item will then probably do better than mine. If it is that I have my item and I say, hey, I'm a post, a picture on my my Instagram with me looking at my, my my item like this or I'm gonna use my item like this put video clips of me using my item showing you how the item can be done or how it could be used people may gravitate to my 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 form of marketing and it may benefit me more my views may be up more even if we start YouTube the same second but do not give up do not give up do not give up and for me it has been discouraging one and two times because I've seen people start YouTube months after me months after me and it's like I have more videos than them I have more subscribers than them what is it that I am doing that isn't connecting or what is it that they're doing that is reaching people sometimes it happens but you have to stay on your game you have to look at yourself and one thing that goes hand in hand with YouTube and I had to learn that the hard way nobody go come by your channel if you're going to be sitting down coaching up hi my name is Rapunzel I have long hair and I've been locked away in a tunnel 
are in a castle. I haven't, I haven't, I haven't, I haven't been interacting with people. And no, you not go walk. You not go work. I had to sit down and put my camera up and practice. Practice a personality. Hey, sometimes you're not accustomed to this public speaking. You don't have the public speaking skills, or you're accustomed to being boxed in in your own little space where you you're accustomed to your friends and your family and stuff like that. So, you know, now being able to speak in front of a camera and trying to picture it like you're talking to your mommy or you're talking to your hubby or you know act as if you're speaking to people sometimes it's hard and the camera kind of lock in on your energy and it make it seem flat trust me if you go back and watch some of my videos it's like what happened to sis what happened to she and I had to practice this would be me I come on my phone because I record on my phone if you don't know and I will be making a video about that cheap or affordable YouTube setups that you can do to get your stand your channel started if it is that you're serious about YouTube and equipment that you can use so that you don't have to run out here and buy expensive camera when you know you're not making no money especially if it is that you don't have a day job especially in this hard covid time where a lot of people are not working you have a cell phone as long as your cell phone camera on fleek then you can start a youtube channel baby so that is the next video so look out for that the time i set up my camera and i'm here and i'm like if i sit like this would they be interested or it's supposed to slouch back or maybe I should sit on my couch and cock up my foot or lay down and act like I'm speaking to my best friend or how I'd sit down and talk to my my friends and be like yo what go on I'm like yeah I could relate to that but it depends on the content that I'm bringing to you guys and it's like you have to have a personality and there's one young lady on Facebook um that Instagram there's one young lady on YouTube that said, if you don't have a personality, create one. When I heard that, I was like, she's serious. She's serious because then, he called me. Allow me to be great. But, sis is right. You know how I'm personality. And from time to time, you see me go look for myself because I need to make sure that the lighting is okay and that I don't look crazy out here on this camera. Because again y'all are watching and I appreciate that so we got to keep it looking nice and clean and smooth but you know how a personality your girl your boy find one people love to see people be jovial people love to see your energy up and you seem peppy and you know one or two times you can throw in one joke or you can do something and laugh at yourself or you can do something you know that catch people attention that be like yeah i want to watch her she seem interesting or yeah she seem relatable she seemed like somebody i could sit down and talk to and stuff like that so you just have to kind of think about all of this when you're doing your youtube when you're doing your youtube make sure make sure your background set because people are checking everything that they can see within the this space this everything within this rectangle space people are going to be watching sometimes people don't even see you sometimes people don't hear you people are in your background checking to see does it have wrinkles does the color match you know does it go with her skin does it enhance her beauty or let her her complexion lift up or you let she look dark and pale and boring or people are watching your clothes for see if you have holes because then I did a video in a cami the other day my last video and it came with from the um site I bought it from with the um a little hole and I figured okay 
let's test to see if people are watching my video let's test to see if somebody is going to see it and make a comment or something and I wore my, my, my shirt I wore my cami I put on my jacket I put my jacket over it to look real cute and look like business because I'm I'm launching my my business series and I wanted to get a picture so that I can post and have my thumbnail and all of that and so said so done because someone went and someone had a comment and I was like I'm not even mad because then it proved my point it shows that people are watching people are going to talk and you can't let these things get to you you can't let them get to you it's something small it's a little issue and you just blow it over and not care so just to let you know when you're coming on YouTube try your best to look presentable nobody's saying that you have to make up your face or put on lashes or whatever just make sure you look presentable because people are going to be watching people are gonna watch people are gonna talk but when when they watch that's what we need we need them to put their views in probably put a like sometimes put a comment because that helps us to grow the more likes that we get the more YouTube refers or recommends our video for somebody else to watch and that is what we need we can't be mad we cannot be mad you better not be mad like seriously you better not and your clothes wear colors that complement your skin wear colors that complement your background wear colors that are bright some people like bright colors bright colors attract people make sure you have cute thumbnails sharp thumbnails that people can read what is on them use bold fonts use bold bright colors plan out your content because why well, down with my book but plan out your content I have a video coming where I'm going to give you a list like 50 video ideas based on what it is that you're doing on your channel but 50 ideas you need to have 50 ideas and sometimes you write your first 50 and even before you get to your first 1 2 50 you already looking at okay this video I could do this 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 and this and then when I do this I could do this 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 and this and it's like you you get to 50 so quickly that you don't even realize so sit down and take some time time why am I putting th where it's not supposed to be like what devote some time and create a list so that you don't be you don't get caught slipping you, you don't you can ask your followers or your subscribers to make video recommendations in the comments they can hit you up on Instagram they can leave a comment on Facebook use whatever means it is that you have and connect make sure you put in content out I have videos coming on video editing thumbnail everything but guys devote some time ask yourself these five five things and then you decide is YouTube for you so when you've come to you've collected and you sat down lay down you've thought about it and your answer says yes YouTube is for you or YouTube is something that you want to do then get up and do it simple get up put up your camera put up your phone and do it if it is that your answer is yes just do them do them do it what are you waiting on and that my friends has brought us to the end of this video if it is that you've liked my video if it is that you let's say per adventure you like my outfit you like this setup 
you like the information please drop us a big thumbs up comment down below don't forget to like comment and subscribe to our channel and we'll see you again in the next one bye